and welcome back to Genshin Impact, where we will discover I suck. Let's see here. What do I got today? I've got to talk to a Rudolph. Well, we'll go to the co uh, do our commissions and then sh we'll talk to her then. That's furthest away. Map. Where? I guess over there. <gasps> Guessing they're all. Yeah, they're all right there. Jesus can. A touch of frost. Yes, I just figured out how to do that. I don't know why it took me so long to make that observance
Seeds of stories brought by the wind and cultivated by time. Ouchie. Swift and merciful. Oh God. That sucked. Well then. That one's done.
Ugh. Oh, I through those people's stories and stuff. Thank you. These nuts and a lot of numbers. I am having an amazing day actually. It started off really weird because there was a five car smash up and then three people cut me off today and at the end of the day I got to see somebody picking their nose and eating it. It was the strangest. But I had a very productive day. See, this is why I shouldn't be playing these games. What should I give? You're also planning to give a present to someone? Picking gifts really is an adventure and a half, isn't it? I want to give one to my wife, Jill Juliana. But I have no idea what to pick. Well, picking presents is like that. You might have a thousand things to choose from, but somehow it always feels impossible to find the perfect one. <sighs> I really can't think of anything. I'd ask someone in the city if only I knew who best to ask. Who exactly should I ask? How about Marjorie, who runs the souvenir shop? Marjorie? Oh right, she runs that souvenir shop, doesn't she? She certainly would have some choice goods on sale. Could I trouble you to make a trip over to her shop for me? Lily's out at the moment, so I need to wait here until she gets back, since Juliana's still at work. Besides, I want to give her a surprise, so I can't afford to let her know. Alright, cool, awesome. I'll do all the grunt work for you. Because that's how this works. We're always gophers in these games. Welcome, every treasure here is unique, so we don't negotiate on the price, nor do we give refunds. 
presents? I've got a lot here, but what do you need them for? Rudolph? A present? Well, sure, I've got a lot of good stuff here, but couldn't you at least tell me who the president is for? Someone doesn't exactly give me a lot to go on. Uh, for Juliana? I see. So it's for Rudolph's wife? Let me think. Uh, yes, I do have a present that she'll definitely like. That said... <laughs> Did you bring enough money? This present will run you 900 more. I think I got it. Small beans! Well, aren't you straightforward? Alright, I've already wrapped the present. Take, take it. Oh yes, don't open it, you hear? Presents are meant to be surprises, after all. Opening others' presents is hardly considered polite, either. I think I know what it is. It's shaped like one of them boxes. Sure did. How much was it? I'll reimburse you. I mean, it's a present from me to Juliana. I can't just spend your money on her or, or hers. I did save a little on the sly. Hold on a moment. Let me get it. This should be enough, yes? I do hope that Juliana will like it. Take Primo gems for... Damn! Alright. Double the money, alright. I got that.
sorry to bother you again. I am delighted to hear that. In which case, let me try to make this quick. Okay. We are most grateful for your commission completion to date. The guild's reputation has grown stronger as a result. However, another consequence is that we are receiving an unprecedented number of requests, more than our current numbers can handle. You want us to do some recruitment for you? Uh, no. Although I appreciate the offer. It would be fantastic to have some new members. But scrambling to officially recruit new members at this stage would not really solve our immediate problems. So what I want to ask is, would your friends have the time to help out? Great. Please do. Thank you. Right now, we urgently need to find people for our expeditions. Expeditions? We expeditions to explore areas around the city and in the wilderness. It is a way to keep ourselves informed of any emerging dangers, unusual activity in the domains, and so on. Since expeditions are not commissioned by a third party, there are no strict deadlines for completion. However, we neglect them at our peril. If trouble were to foment unchecked, it could easily turn into a major disaster. Pretty important then. All you need to do is convince them to help. I will take care of all the details. Now, without further ado, let me show you the expeditions that are currently available. I think I'll go with that one. That one sounds shiny. Alright, so... I don't need Lisa anymore. And... I don't really use... Oh well. You can dispatch someone on an expedition at any time. And they will still be able to join you in your adventures should you need them. You can also choose the length of time for the expedition. After your friend returns, just come here and confirm the outcome. As your adventure rank increases, more dangerous expeditions will become available to you. After all, with epic power comes epic responsibility! And of course, matching risk with experience is also for everyone's safety. Thanks again for your help. I hope you and your friends can help out with our expeditions as much as possible. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Oh yeah. Ad Astra Abyssosk. I can do the things. Not with this one, though. Can I do it with this one? No. This one? No. What about this one? Yep. Good. But do I wanna? Oh yeah. You two aren't leveled up yet. Oh. 
Yep. Boom! Said. Booyah. <clears throat> Clay. Ooh, that means. I got that one. She talked to him. Greetings. I am Timaeus, researcher of alchemy. Welcome to Mondstadt. Alchemy is a craft that has been passed down since ancient times, but it is barely understood in the present. Its mechanisms are magical and mysterious, completely unlike the principles that shape our understanding of the physical world. If we can get the hang of this, we should be able to create some pretty awesome stuff. This must be your alchemist's workbench. That's right. Why not give it a go yourself? You'll be fine. The procedure's actually very simple. If you're interested, I can show you the basics. Case. All we are really doing is following the methods of the ancients as best we can. Much as one who uses a wind glider needs not understand how it was built in order to glide. The difference with alchemy is that every time I think I finally understand how it's supposed to work, something totally unexpected happens. <laughs> 
kind of want another Paimon. My skills are not that advanced. But There's it's possible. Other mysterious recipes I have to research first. Over the course of your adventures, you should come across some alchemist notes from ancient civilizations. And as your adventure rank increases, more recipes will become available to you. Exactly. <laughs> you two are a fascinating pair, I must say. Well, see you next time. May the wind bring you good fortune on your path ahead. I have to say, I'm getting better at traversing the world. Never read them. I mean, unless you guys want me to read them, but I kind of feel like that would be kind of a snooze fest. I mean, I try to do voices, but I fell at them miserably. Doesn't stop me from doing them, but. Please register it in the log. The restricted section is currently not lending any books. Oh, it's you, little cutie. It's so good to see you. More refreshing than a strong cup of tea in the afternoon. Clearly you're meant to be working, but you don't seem to have your heart in it at all. I mean, other than Jean, who really works that earnestly anyway? So, did you have something you needed? Or did you just come to see me? It's hard because she's purple and I like it. But I don't like her attitude. No, you're not supposed to expect me to come around just to see you. Nothing specific? You must just be here to see me then. <laughs> I did not say that. Okay, I won't tease you any further. So, oh, Miss Librarian, got any books to recommend? Hmm, recommended books. Sadly, everything I'd personally recommend is all in the restricted section, which we're not currently lending out. What's with your ominous tone? Oh, great. Would you be interested in checking out the Devat Travel Guide? I think it would be quite helpful for you as travelers here. Ooh, sounds 
like it could be helpful. Do you think we could take a peek? <sighs> I suppose I can try to find you a copy from the list. Isn't this Lisa's job? What does she mean, I suppose? Oh dear. That's unfortunate. Our copy is currently being borrowed. That said, it is now overdue. Come to think of it, quite a few of our books are now overdue. <sighs> I really wish people would just return their books on time. Whoa, is Paimon imagining things? Or does the air in here suddenly feel a lot more electrified? <sighs> Such a pain. I'm going out to bring those unreturned books back. If you'd rather get your hands on that copy of the Tavat Travel Guide sooner, you'd better come with me. Uh, Lisa seems really scary right now. Mama thinks it would be best if you answer her. You really are such a considerate cutie. Let's see. First, we can go to... The Souvenir Shop. It's called With Wind Comes Glory. So let's meet there shortly. Right after I take all your books and never return them. Or read them. There's gotta be achievement somewhere. I do all the things for the Jeeves. You're here. Let's begin, shall we? Hello, Marjorie. Any exciting new items in stock? Why so surprised? Today is such a special day. It's only natural that I'd want a souvenir to remember it by. Oh, is that how you see it? No. I just know I you. I there's nothing wrong with that. At your age, these kinds of fleeting fantasies are normal. 
What do you mean at my age? You're the one that keeps <laughs> flirting <laughs> with me. What's the souvenir you're after? You're in the right place. I'm sure you'll find something that strikes your fancy, Lisa. Or you could let your new friend pick something out for you. Make it more of an occasion. Yes, yes, let us pick. No. Because then it's a date. Bloomers. But I pick question mark. This is a historical relic retrieved from some ruins by one of the Adventurers Guild. Sure, there's a bit of wear and tear, but this thing in the painting must be well over a thousand years old. Though it doesn't make much sense to me. My goodness! This is one of the three lost scrolls that make up the Northern Border Wind investigation. What is it doing here? You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. My, my. You clearly know a treasure when you see it. This is a work of unparalleled significance for the research of ancient people's understanding of the elements. I will gladly accept it. Goodness, is that the time? <sighs> Marjorie, one last thing. About the legend of Vanessa. Oh, so you're a fan of the Count Lady Vanessa too? Why didn't you say so? I have all sorts of items I could recommend. Uh... This lion's tooth pendant with Vanessa's name carved into it. It was once a medal awarded to a knight by the great lady herself. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I do apologize. I got so excited when you mentioned Vanessa. I didn't know that book was overdue. Even though I take it with me everywhere. I can't believe I didn't put two and two together as soon as I saw you here. <laughs> here you go. <sighs> well... Since you look up to Lady Vanessa so very much, please be more punctual next time. Yes, Lisa. I will be, Lisa. Let's go and find the next overdue book. <sighs> Is this like a waifu game or something? Like, am I just gonna end up like having a whole bunch of like people wanting this character or something? Welcome to Good Hunter. Table for two. When do you ever sit down, though, Paimon? My apologies. Let you just float everywhere. And call me over once you're ready to order. So we're gonna eat first and bring up the book situation later? Why, of course. The stress of work really takes the pleasure out of eating, don't you think? Work is that bad, huh? Yeah, but that's why you do it first. Why don't you order us something, cutie? I'm ever so curious to know what your tastes are. <sighs> Why don't you order us something, cutie? I'm ever... Because that's what I'm eating tonight. Good Hunter's signature dish. If it's what you want, I'll try anything once. You sure? Can't change again once. <sighs> Why don't you? This seems like the sort of staple bar food you'd find at the tavern. It has an extremely strong flavor, so drinkers love it because they can actually taste it. You sure? Can't. <sighs> Good hunters. You sure? Hmm. Finished ordering? Sit here. Let's dine together. Sit. Sit. Mmm. Beautifully tender and cooked to perfection. No wonder it's their signature dish. 
It's a shame I can't have more, but a witch must watch her physique. Oh, please. Ugh, Paimon's so full. Time is getting on. I suppose I should carry on with this ghastly thing called work. Let's have a little chat with Sarah about her library book. Would you like to order something else? No, thank you. We're quite satisfied. But I'm afraid I must ask you about the boar princess. The boar brisket? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think we took that off the menu. <sighs> she means the book you borrowed. Oh, of course. I came straight to the restaurant after I borrowed it and completely forgotten that I even had it. I'm so sorry, Lisa. I will bring it to the library myself as soon as I finish work. <sighs> okay then, but make sure you don't forget this time. Right, on to our next stop then, cutie. Hundred percent a date. I don't care what she calls this, it's a date. <sighs> this is our final call for the day. Welcome. Uh, couples are our specialty. Let me know what you'd like and I'll wrap them up nicely for you. Huh? Ah, uh, yes. Now, which book was it that has the line, A date without flowers is a date without romance? I took the hint. I told her no, because it's not a date. <laughs> Never mind. Your ignorance is somehow rather adorable. Oh! I can't win with this lady. Since you're here and Lisa is here and this is a flower shop, you might as well get a bunch of flowers, right? It only makes sense. Some flowers for Miss Lisa? What would you like? The purple ones. Mist flowers? Over there in the corner. But don't touch them with your bare hands. You'll get frostbite. You want them? You're sure? What an unusual choice. It's just that Lisa seems to use Electro quite a lot. Things could get a little bit dangerous. You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Well, I can't kill her. Some flowers for Miss Lee. Dandelions are one of our classics. And a personal favorite of Miss Flora, the shop owner. I know what you're thinking. Most flower shops don't sell dandelions. They are a nuisance to care for. Perhaps Miss Flora likes the sense of floating away to a faraway land that the dandelion evokes. Come to think of it, Miss Flora herself gives people the same impression. You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Dandelions? They actually sell dandelions? They have a refreshing scent, similar to the one Jean wears. Thank you. Uh... Is it oh. Okay, time to get back to business. This woman oh, a hoe. Do you know why we're here? Back to business? My business is selling flowers. <sighs> Once again, we see a total lack of respect for literature. The pale prince Oh uh yes. Well what happened was what? no story Oh it is ever good with what oh, happened no. was. What am I gonna do? I... I lost the book. <sighs> A while back, I realized it was almost due, and I was getting ready to bring it back to the library. But I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked for days, but nothing. It's like somebody stole it. It should have been there on my bedside table, right where I left it. Uh oh. At least 
Lisa does some crazy things when she gets mad. I heard that. <laughs> well, if it really was stolen, Donna has done nothing wrong. The blame lies with the book thief, and their punishment will be three. No, ten times worse than stealing my book. Like Paimon said, totally crazy! Oh, don't worry about that. As long as I remain librarian, not a single book will go missing for good. I put a unique elemental marker on each book. Our thief will have left a nice set of clues for us to follow. When did Lisa start taking her job so seriously? Paimon always thought she was a total slacker. Hey, sweetie. I've heard your elemental sensitivity is very strong. Why not see what you can do? Elemental sensitivity? Oh, paimon has got it! Use your elemental sight to look for clues! No shit, Sherlock. Looking at the elemental traces, it does seem likely that the book was stolen. So Donna didn't do anything wrong after all! It's not from the restricted section, so it's hardly a book worth stealing. Whoever wanted this book so badly had a strange fixation indeed. Hmm. So, what do we do now? The elemental traces are very faint, but I can tell that the thief took it beyond the city walls. You must see it too, right, cutie? Well, let's follow the trail and have a look where our thief was headed, shall we? traces are strong here, but it seems our thief did not stay for long. The trail keeps going. Let's keep looking. than I thought. Quite the intrepid explorer, our little thief. Maybe we frighten the turtle back inside his shell! Challenge tombs. Oh, hi. It must be nearby. Using elemental sight, you can even detect magic. Follow the flow of magic to find the book.
the thief lives inside ruins? Mondstadt people do have some strange quirks. Please do not jump to such a preposterous conclusion about the living habits of Mondstadt's residents. This seems far more likely to be the work of some none-too-friendly troublemakers. Stealing books is hardly the hilly churl style. All they would use books for is to keep their campfire going anyway. This is more likely to be the Abyss Order's doing. They do seem to have a way of slipping in and out of places like ghosts, after all. Also, there's an elemental seal at the entrance. It looks like the result of an Abyss Mage's magic. A seal? How are we gonna break it? Is this gonna turn into another huge ordeal? <laughs> Not to worry. If you think a little magic can keep me out, think again. Why is that? Come on. So this is what Lisa's like when she's hard at work. Potato. I'm sorry, I get excited about potatoes. Bye, meat. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. 
Blitz. So I guess I activate that guy over there that does that. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Fourth, my play. Oh, come on. Okay. No play down now. A touch of frost. Spirit play. Attack. Ah, dang it. With the wind. Needs to die. Don't blink. Speed of light. With sword comes shadow. Speed of light. Ugh. Look. 
Okay. hide yourselves away, but I do want my book back. Tell me, how is it that you have the time to conceal your stronghold and apply a magic seal, but not to sign out a library book in the proper manner? You have no respect whatsoever for other people's work. You... you just want... the book? I was unaware that anyone in Mondstadt was concerned with unearthing the secret hidden inside this book. Ooh. Who are you? The librarian. Although I believe that should be quite clear already. Return the book. This is an ultimatum. <laughs> Since you insist on concealing your identity, I have all the less reason to give you that book. Uh. After all, it contains the secret. Huh? What, what, what are you doing? Concentrated elemental power! Please don't! After using up all of Lisa's patience, the Abyss Mage is dead. Tis dead. Hmm. Naughty boys who don't do what they're told need a little punishment to keep them in line. <sighs> this is why I call it troublesome work. We'll just need to find the book ourselves. It should be around here somewhere. <laughs> okay. damaged. Otherwise... Otherwise what? Are you telling me you have even more crazy punishments up your sleeve? <laughs> I would have probably have needed to dish out a little taste of one of my potions in that case. Uh... Then again, as I said, it isn't from the restricted section, which is the only reason I would let the average citizen borrow it in the first place. And it doesn't appear to have any abnormal elemental properties, save for the markings I put on it. Yeah, it seems like just an average storybook. As far as my duties as a librarian go, my troublesome work is finished. Since this book has piqued your interest, why don't I let you borrow it? There's no time limit for you. I will register you as custodian rather than borrower. Uh, this is an okay. exclusive privilege reserved for trusted citizens only. Exclusive privilege? Why does Paimon feel this is just your sneaky way of offloading your troublesome work onto someone else? Excuse me, are you in some way dissatisfied with my work? Good. 
You're amenable to reason, then. <sighs> I do wish I could keep you by my side as my personal assistant. <laughs> personal assistant? Uh, I think... I think there's another word for that. <laughs> okay. Don't forget to register at the library when you have a spare moment. Return. The paperwork is done. You are now the custodian of this book. Thank you, Miss Lisa. <sighs> but Paimon thinks we're forgetting something. Look, over there on the shelf. Isn't and look how many copies there are. <laughs> the Tevat Travel Guide is a serial publication. It is not part of the library's formal collection. Oh. Take one. Consider it your compensation for being Lisa's little helper today. With you by my side, my troublesome work was a little less dull than usual. Hmm. The Tavat travel guy was just made to get us to do a day's work. I hadn't anticipated that a few routine returns inquiries would take us out of the city, let alone down into some underground ruins. <laughs> As compensation for dragging you into all this bother, Take these souvenirs. Wow! Lisa went and bought us some special souvenirs! In fact, they were intended for our next outing. But, never mind. We can discuss next time's activity when the time comes. I hope you are looking forward to it. Uh. There are various ways to obtain adventure XP and raise your adventure rank, whether it be completing various quests, blah 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 blah. I'm pretty sure I've seen that before. A thousand years of loneliness. Thank you. 
Alright, I think I'm going to end it here, because I need to go get started on some dinner. Uh, but next time we will tackle the low pressure warning, and then see where it goes from there. I will see you guys in the next video. Please hit them good buttons while I'm gone. View my previous videos on YouTube. I actually have a playlist. I'm actually quite proud of myself. I made playlists. But anywho. Bye bye.